here on the farms we provide good nesting habitat there's plenty of sand eels that the staple diet in the north sea in the surrounding area so everything's looking good it's very early days the census has been going on now for over a month and a half and it's looking like fingers crossed that numbers are on the up again which is really key just checking this burrow now and uh, I'm looking for any obvious signs of use. So if there's um, a few feathers or maybe even eggshell or uh, some fresh looking droppings. This one, looking at it, doesn't really have um, any obvious signs it's in use. It could be a burrow that was used uh, a year or two ago. So I'm gonna have to actually go in there and check. So there's a, a puffing chick that I had bought. And, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently tease the chick out. I'm just gonna have a look what sort of stage of, stage of its life it's at so we know how our, our puffing colony is doing. Okay. So this one looks between one and two weeks old. Um, so it's still got its downy coat. It's not got any feather development yet on its wings. Um, it's not got any of the pins showing through that would indicate the feathers are starting to grow. And you see the, the pufflings, as we call them. This is a puffling. And the baby puffin has a small dark beak. It's very different from the adult. Um, the adult beak that the puffins have, uh, that bright coloured uh, red, white and yellow, is uh, only in breeding birds of adult age. So birds that are four years or older. And during the winter they have small black bills, like this guy here. And uh, what I'm going to do now is, it's getting a little bit worried, so I'm going to pop him back. We restrict people to certain areas to make sure the puffins have got the best chance to actually nest on the islands and actually raise young. And we're getting that balance really right. We're getting over 45,000 visitors coming and enjoy the spectacle that is the islands and all the puffins and its bird life and, and other wildlife on here. But also making sure it's a great place, a good haven for the birds to come and actually nest in. We're getting that balance spot on at the moment. It's really good to see that these birds are benefiting from the work we do here.